So, Gunpowder Milkshake was a movie that came out last week on Netflix, and it stars Karen Gillan, Lena Headley, Lena Headey, I think, uh, Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett, Carlo Gugino, Paul Giamatti, and it's about a group of women who work for this, uh, who basically work for themselves, and they, uh, basically they cross too many paths, and they are now going to, uh, fight against a group of evil men. That's all I gotta say. So, that wasn't really a great summary of the plot of this movie, because there's a lot of twists and turns in this movie that I won't spoil here. And I didn't know too much about this. I didn't see a trailer for it. Um, I just heard it was like, it looked very stylish. And so I guess I didn't really, I wasn't really interested because like I had no idea like what it was about. I just knew it was coming out. So overall, this movie is, it's fine. It's, it's, it can be enjoyable at times. And it's, a lot of people compare it's like, oh, it's a female John Wick. Eh, I wouldn't say that exactly. It's a, It does enough to be its own thing, but it's definitely influenced a lot by John Wick. So, is there anything that works? Um, well, a lot of, there's actually a lot that I actually did like of this movie. The action scenes are really well done throughout this entire movie. Like, there's one in a bowling alley, which I thought was really good. Also, it was, it was said it was very stylish. I thought the cinematography was actually really good in this movie. Um, also, I kind of did like how it was, like, how it kind of, like, blended all these genres, like, action, comedy, drama, I mean, it's mostly an action and drama movie, but overall, it still, it still works enough to kind of, like, where it kind of just blends everything nicely. Um, also, most of the characters I thought were written nicely, for the most part, uh, and a lot of the performances, well, not a lot, like, half the performances I like, um... I would say more than half, actually. Like, uh, Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett, and Carla Gugino, who unfortunately don't get a, to do a whole lot in this movie. Um, they were really good, and I kind of want to see, like, a spinoff movie starring them at some point. I thought they were really good. Um, also, I feel like... Also, Lena Headley. I thought she was also really good as the mother of Karen Gillan's character. I thought she was really good as well. Like, I kind of want to see, like, a spinoff where they're, like, all, like... Not necessarily younger, but it's like they're on their own mission and they're kind of like dealing with something else. I would keep Karen Gillan out, unfortunately. Unfortunately, she's kind of the weakest link of this movie. I feel like her character wasn't really that great and I feel like she didn't really add anything new. I mean, her her relationship with a uh, uh, young girl in the movie, I thought she, that was really nice. But, again, like they don't really do much to add to the character, like bring it to life other than playing it but oh well it works as far as Paul Giamatti goes who you know he's a really fun character actor um I thought he was just kind of bland like he's just kind of there and he, again kind of like Karen Gillan he doesn't really do anything with it whereas unlike you know those other actresses like Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett, Carl Gugino they all do something where it's like okay you're all really good you're all really good I like your action scenes I like your characters I think you're really interesting I want to see more of you these two, not so much. Um, also, a lot of this, even though it does blend certain genres nicely, it does feel a bit disjointed at times, mainly because of its story where it's like, it's about this, and then, oh no, it's about this, and then, oh no, it's about this. So it kind of just like, it kind of like cross, not necessarily cross lines, I wouldn't say that. I guess it just tried to do a little too much before, like, really figuring out, like, what it was trying to be. It's like, it clearly wants to be all these things, and yet it just, it didn't work entirely. So, and also, again, I'm disappointed that even though Michelle Yeoh, like, all those actresses, they were really good, they aren't really in the movie that much, and I kind of want to see something else with them. Like, they all seem like really cool characters, and I kind of want to see more of them. I wish this movie focused on them rather than Karen Gillan, unfortunately. So, Gunpowder Milkshake is a very stylish and at times fun movie. It's just maybe it's not as well written and maybe the main main character just isn't really that interesting to me. Again, it's a movie where basically the background is better than the actual movie. Like I think about like I feel like that's mean because again, those actresses were awesome and I feel like again, I keep saying this, that's probably the best thing I can say about it. I would see more of this. I would just see more of this as if, if this was, like, better written, I would say. So, I'll give Gunpowder Milkshake two and a half out of four stars. Stream it. Does enough to be its own thing to kind of stand out from John Wick, but just wish it was a little better than that. So, 
what did you think of Gunpowder Milkshake? Uh, what's been your favorite action movie of the last few years? Comment down below, subscribe to the channel. This is Pat, and stay safe.